Hi everyone, Rick from Wingstuff.com, and we have Kyle back with us from Nelson Rig. Hey guys, thanks for having me, Rick. You're welcome. And he's going to talk about the destination bag. So tell us about the destination bag, Kyle. This is one of our top selling, most versatile bags. It can fit in the back seat of your Goldwing. It can sit on a backrest luggage rack if you're riding an F6B or have something of that nature. If you're a solo rider and you have a driver backrest, it can sit behind you on the passenger seat. It just can go in lots of different places and it has lots of different compartments and configurations and just the ease of use and accessibility of this bag is just one of the things that makes it so popular. And I, and I see all these compartments. Tell us about these compartments. So we'll get into it. So the neat thing about this bag is it is a traditionally top loading bag, but it has a lot of features that allow it to be a little bit more user friendly than that. So you can see the, the zipper right here around the middle. Mm -hmm. That's gonna make this top compartment its own compartment if you want it that way. There's also a zipper that makes that floor drop down and you can have the entire height of the bag accessible as well. So if you have a long thing you need to put in there like a tripod or something, it can extend up about this high mm -hmm. and accommodate something like that, super neat. Um, this pocket on the front mm -hmm. behind it is actually a zipper that allows it to open it gives you a porch and it allows you to get to the items that are in the very bottom of the bag easily without having to dig down from the top. Nice. Super neat feature there. And then of course pockets. We have three pockets on the outside, one on each side and then one in the front. And then carrying the bag when you're off the bike. We have a nice carry handle here on the back mm -hmm. that allows you to be able to easily transport this bag. Now, this is made out of our Ultra Max material. Now Ultra Max is a UV treated material that will not fade. It was very unique to Nelson Rig because a lot of the other stuff out there does fade. It's a proprietary fabric that we developed because of that situation, right? Yeah. We want guys to be able to have a good looking luggage piece through the duration or the lifespan sure. of their gear. Um, a lot of black luggage turns purple, it turns white, it turns ashy, and it just doesn't look good after about a year or two in use. And um, a lot of times people need to purchase new bags after a year or two because of that. With our bag and its lifetime warranty, it's not going to fade, it's not going to fail, and if it does, we send you a new one. It's really that simple. Can't ask for more than that. Now, when it comes to attaching this bag to the motorcycle, we have four tie-down points, one at each corner if you're, going to, if you're going down to a rack or a hard part on your motorcycle, or flipping the bag around, we have two sissy bar or backrest straps. Now, this can attach to a passenger backrest or a driver backrest. Anything that's vertical, essentially, sure. you can wrap these two Velcro straps around and secure your bag nicely to the motorcycle. And of course, there's the four corner straps as well, so you can go down to an additional tie-down point if you want or you need that extra security. Yeah, it's been pretty trendy when uh, somebody riding a Goldwing doesn't have a passenger on the back, mm -hmm. they'll utilize their seat for extra storage capacity. So a lot of times you'll have a bag like this that you'll see on the back of a a seat instead of a passenger. It's a great way to do it. Yeah. I mean, I mean that the motorcycle was made to carry weight in that location. Yeah. I mean, suspension-wise, ergonomics-wise, setup. Um, so being able to put heavy stuff right back there where a passenger would be is just a great, a great place to do it. Now, another feature you're going to notice here is this zipper that goes all the way around the bag. This is actually going to allow the bag to ex oh, it's gonna expand stand up. Nice. And that's going to give you almost another 10 liters of storage yes. once you hit that expansion. So if you need it, it can go higher. Yep, if you nice. don't, you can collapse it down and hit that zipper. And uh, yeah, just a little bit extra when you yep. happen to need it. And one more way to put more stuff on your bike, <laughs> you know? It's amazing. We want to take everything yeah. and the kitchen sink sure. with us these days. Right. This makes a good luggage rack bag as well. It does. Now, we've also seen this on the trailer hitch on the back of the Goldwing. Mm -hmm. There's a nice platform back there. Mm -hmm. um, the only caveat is you need to relocate your license plate because this will actually cover that up yes. because it is a nice tall structure. So make sure you move your license plate to right. the back of the bag if you're going to do that. But uh, yeah, a great bag for your uh, luggage rack on the back, for your seat, for sure. uh, lots of different things. Or places. even a trailer hitch rack like we talked about, yep. So let's take a look at some of those features, Rick. Sure. Popping open the top of this bag before we get in, you're going to notice that all the zippers are luggage lock compatible. So, if you want to secure your items or keep somebody from opening the zipper, that is, you can throw a luggage lock on there 
And the pro tip I have for anyone putting a lock on their luggage is throw the rain cover over the top so nobody can see the lock, number one, and they just don't see the pockets or anything else. It's just a bag with a rain cover on it. Who wants to get into that? So moving on, let's take a look at the inside of the bag. Zippers are all nice, high quality zippers. Mm -hmm. They open nice and easy. Now you're gonna notice a nice light gray interior. That keeps your items from falling into the abyss of a black bag when you toss them in here. We have a nice mesh pocket on either side, closable with a little bit of hook and loop there at the top. Uh, this is a great place to put lighter items, sweatshirts, things sure. that you might wanna have easy access to while you're out there on the road. So this upper compartment can stand alone as its own compartment, or we can actually unzip the floor and we can have full access all the way through the bag. All right, so opening the bag here, you see this is the floor that we saw from the inside. You can actually open this up, roll it down. We have a hook and loop here that allows you to tie that in, or you can just drop it down on the inside. And now you have full access to the entire bag. Just a super versatile, large compartment that yep. you can have to, to pack all your goodies. A lot of capacity in there. Now a downfall to most top loading bags is the fact you have to dig down from the top in order to get to the stuff that's at the very bottom. Now, a lot of us like to pack our jeans because they're the heaviest thing and one of the most awkward things to carry with you on the motorcycle. First. Down here at the very bottom. Yep. Now a feature that we've built into this, this pocket here on the front, which is a great, nice large pocket. We currently have our 100% waterproof rain cover in. Behind this pocket, we actually have a garage door. Hmm, how do you like that one? So the garage door opens like so. Now, if this is sitting on a luggage rack on the back of a motorcycle, we actually have straps built in to keep that garage door from opening all the way down. Makes a little porch, if you will. Sure. And the neat part about that is you now have 100% access to all the contents on the inside of your bag. You can reach in, lift up the top, pull out your blue jeans, draw it back down again. Whatever you have in here, down here at the bottom is accessible. So basically three points of entry. You've got through the very top, you've got through the center, and you have from the bottom. Very nice. Yeah, and just like your other bags, Kyle, I love the structure of this bag. I like the, the firmness of it all the way through. It holds its shape and, you know, just the quality of the bag is awesome. So, so that's something that we try to do in all of the bags. We actually build internal stiffeners all the way around. So the bag holds its shape when empty and looks just as good empty as it yes. does when it's full. It really makes for a, a great looking universal bag. I know lots of people that actually ride with this thing, they don't even strap it down because their backrest kind of smushes into it and the side little contours here on the seat, yep. it just kind of fits in and there. And they kind of lean way. against it a little bit, yep. But we always recommend that you use your yes. tie downs and make sure that it is 100% secure before you hit that starter button. Always. And roll away. Lots of possibilities. Very good. There you go. One more feature that we haven't mentioned yet is, or we talked about a little bit, but not in full detail, is the lifetime warranty. All of the Route 1 line of luggage has a lifetime warranty. If any zipper starts working or a strap has an issue, which doesn't happen very often, sure. but when it does, when you buy this bag, you're buying it once and that's it, it's done. Anything happens to the bag, give us a call and we'll take a look at it and we'll shoot a new bag directly out to you. Now, part that's of that great. lifetime warranty is fade resistant. This is ultra max material. It's gonna stay black throughout the duration. It's not gonna turn colors like we talked about earlier. And uh, yeah, it's just a great way to have a nice looking bag on your bike for all time. That's great. The destination folks, any questions, give Rick's team a call. They can answer any questions you have about the bag. Wingstuff.com is a great place to purchase Nelson Rick products. Thanks for having us, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Until next time, take care and ride safe out there guys. Destination bag folks, thank you, ride safe.